Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here with St. Michael Catholic Community for Monday, 12 April. And I'd like to share with you a few thoughts for around 240 seconds regarding today's gospel lesson for Mass out of John chapter 3. You know the whole thing, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, or only begotten Son. Well, this comes right before that. Nicodemus comes to see Jesus at night privately. But he has some questions, and I love how he does this. He comes to him and he says, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. I know he's been, wa as he was walking to see Jesus, he was thinking, well, what am I going to say to him? How am I going to introduce this? Nicodemus is just trying to figure out a way to ask what he really wants to know. And Jesus just listens to him, and then he says, oh, unless you're born from above, you cannot see the kingdom of God. He says this, listen carefully. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Jesus goes even further and says, unless one is born of water and spirit. Well, if it's a spiritual rebirth, why do you need water? Water is an earthly element. We speak with words that are human words, breath. We use water, which is an earthly form, and the Spirit of God comes. That's what the incarnation is about. When God became man, when God became human, one of us, all of a sudden, everything takes on a spiritual disposition. What it means is that God makes everything a blessing. God's presence is found everywhere. If God is spirit, God is everywhere. God penetrates everything as the spirit, as God the Father. So when Jesus becomes one of us, not only does God penetrate us as a, a spiritual presence everywhere, omnipresent, Christ becomes one with us. God becomes creation. God becomes flesh and spirit. And everything has significance. Everything is a sense of finding God in a special way. May you find God in a special way as well today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, through our baptisms, you've called us to yourself. May we respond by living for you with all our hearts. And uh, as we said in our prayers of divine mercy yesterday, many of us, Jesus, I trust in you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Just have a wonderful day and look for the Spirit.